how can we know that the the gas is leaking? I mean, sometimes. Oh, it has uh, a very strong smell. But I, I got sinus layer. I cannot smell anything. <laughs> My name is Wei Xiong and I'm an engineer with the SP Group. I'm in the gas inspection and leak survey section and I'm in charge of the leak survey unit. Today, I'll be talking to a child, a youth and a senior. And I'm nervous but I'm happy to share with my knowledge with them. Hello. Hello. My name is Wei Xiong. My name is Rhys. So what is your job? I'm in this uh, leak survey unit in SP. We conduct checks on all our gas pipelines in Singapore. Our pipelines are all buried underground mostly. So the length is about 4,000 kilometers total, which is enough to cover the distance from like from Singapore all the way to the Maldives. So what kind of risk are there in your job? Gas is flammable. With enough quantity of the gas uh, present in the air and then with ignition source, a fire can occur. That is why uh, in SP, we have a very strong uh, safety culture where we want to ensure safety for everybody. One of the good examples is this suit I'm wearing now, which is able to protect me from fire. So how does the suit protect you from the fire? This suit is a fire retardant uh, material. It is lower in catching on fire than other uh, materials like we wear on normal days. How do you inspect for gas leak? We have the detectors that we use. Maybe I can show you. This one is what we call a uh, laser detector. It's the coolest of all the gadgets that we have. Mm -hmm. So what this thing do is that it uses laser and try to detect for the gas leak. This blue color one is a primary uh, equipment that we use while we are on foot and then also we use when we are driving the vehicle. This is the one that we use when we need to further investigate. So let's say now there is a presence of gas leak. We want to find out where is the actual location. Okay, so we will use this and then we will do further investigation. We will try to find out the best possible location of where the leak is. What happens when there's no gas? It can be due to water entering into our pipelines during heavy rain or flooding, or someone can just mistakenly shut off valves. You know what a gas valve is? Not okay, it's just like a tap. Yeah, you have taps at home, right? In your toilet, in your kitchen. So, uh, this kind of equipment is actually just along our pipelines. If that happens, uh, we have a 24-hour gas emergency hotline where people can call in and just report such incident to us. Our gas emergency response team colleagues will be dispatched to the site. These are the people that uh, imagine they are the the, the firemen, the policemen. They are the first one that goes on the site. And then what they do is they will conduct checks to determine the extent of the situation as well as what are the possible causes. What does gas smell like? Okay, uh, the gas by itself is uh, has no smell. Okay, it is odorless and is colorless. And odorant, it is uh, non-toxic and is harmless by the way. It's added into the gas to give it a very distinct and attention-grabbing smell. People have uh, described the smell as similar to that of rotten eggs. It's disgusting. Yeah, it is it's supposed to make you do something. The work that we do uh, as gas operations, guys, I hope it, it, it interests you as much as it interests me. Thank you. Hi. Hello, hi. 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 My name is Xiao. I'm the Gen Z interviewing you for this. Nice to have you, yeah. So what are your working hours like as a gas leak uh, inspector? Our working hours is from 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. But our work is uh, unique uh, in a way, so we are not really confined to the regular working hours. Mm -hmm. Because our gas network, right, we service the whole nation. Mm -hmm. So it's essential to keep this gas uh, supply continuous without any interruption. There are days that I uh, perform standby duties after my normal working hours. In case there is any gas-related incidents, right, I will have to respond to you. What are some biggest challenges you face, like being a gas leak? Inspector. I have to say is that we have to ensure that we do all the checks on time because uh, we don't want anything to happen. We want to keep our pipelines uh, leak free. If there's any leak along the pipelines or whatever, when they are still small, we are able to pick it up fast and then we will attend to them uh, as soon as possible, get it repaired. Do you have any unique stories or like an unforgettable incident that you've encountered on this job? I think you will have to be the very first uh, no guess incident that I handled personally on the eve of the Hari Raya holidays. So you can imagine people were already uh, preparing for the next day. When we reached there, uh, there were already anxious uh, residents there waiting for us, you know, wanting to know answers. Lah. We know the urgency. So we quickly do our checks, we quickly set up the temporary lines, you know, feeding in into the, the block so that they can get the gas back as uh, soon as possible. We managed to do it by the night itself. 
So and then they can resume lah okay. after that. Why do you think this job is important? Most of our gas pipelines are buried underground, so you don't know what's happening, right? Yeah. You can't see mah. Therefore, it's important uh, that we carry out all this proactive checking as a form of uh, preventive maintenance. How long have you been in this industry for? I'm with this company, uh, SP, for coming to 13 years already. Oh, that's long. Yeah, so I didn't really go and count the years. Just take it like every day, you know, just respond to the job. As soon as I realise it, it has been 13 years since. Time flies by very fast. Ah? It is, yes. Thank you for answering my questions today. No problem, thank it you so much. It was very insightful. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, glad I could have help. Hello, hi. Hi, I'm Zaina. Hi, my name is Wei Xiong. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, yeah. What is gas in Singapore predominantly used for? Gas has two main purposes, lah, actually. Singapore now, 95% of the electricity is generated by natural gas. Mm -hmm. We have also the town gas uh, network. This network is mainly used for residential and commercial users. What made you choose this career path? After I graduated from the NUS, I wanted to tap onto the knowledge that I gained from school. This Lake Survey Engineer role actually uh, provides me with the opportunities to keep trying out new leak detection technologies. It's very interesting because I have always been interested in exploring new gadgets and stuff like that since young. So now I, I actually get to do it as a career also. What did your family think about your career choice? They were a bit concerned because of the risks that are involved. Uh, but after seeing that, you know, the safety programs, the trainings that I've been sent for, mm -hmm. and then with all this uh, safety equipment that I'm issued with, they became supportive. Lah. They, 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 they felt that this job can actually give me the challenges that I want. So they happy, you happy, okay. Yeah. okay. okay. Right. How can we support you in your job? Our goal and our aim is to really want to detect gas leak. Mm -hmm. So what the members of public can help is to actually uh, report any suspected gas leaks. Okay. Yeah, that they come across uh, to our 24-hour gas emergency hotline. Okay. So what is the number actually? It's 1-800-752-1800. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's quite easy to remember. <laughs> la. The front and the behind is 1-800 and then the middle is 752. There are also all these uh, gas safety tips available at our website. And I feel that uh, everyone should go in and just check out all this information because I think the, the information are quite valuable because it teaches you how to react when there's a gas leak, especially at home. What are the some of Thing that we can do. One of the things that you can do is to quickly open up your windows and your doors. Yeah, what you want to do is actually to ventilate the area so that whatever gas has been accumulating uh, at your in your home mm -hmm. is being ventilated out. Oh. Yeah, so that you know you don't accumulate enough that you actually get uh, affected by the gas in a way that you can you can faint or you know fire can occur. Yeah, and things like that. How can we know that the, the gas is leaking? I mean, sometimes... Oh, it uh, has a very strong smell. But I got sinus there, I cannot smell anything. <laughs> how is it? Like old people, you see? Hmm. Like, they don't know. And yeah. how is it? You can try to look at your gas meter outside your home. Uh -huh. If you know that there are no gas appliances on at the moment, you're not doing any cooking, the water heater is not on, because you're not using any gas at all now. Ma. So the meter should not be running at the moment. Ma. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. What is one life lesson you have learned as a gas inspector? I believe that safety is something that we should never treat lightly with, right? Because what really matters is that everybody gets to go home to their loved ones and families at the end of this work. We should never cut corners on safety. Thank you so much You're for welcome. sharing with us. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Bye. You're welcome. Bye. -bye. I think it was fun and interesting. I get to hear the perspective from members of public. I am glad that I actually can help them understand more on our industry, on what we do and how we do things. I think gas safety is very important for everyone. I hope everyone check out our website to find out more on the gas safety tips. Bye. Thanks. Even a slight rain also, we will just continue and do it. Rain or shine, it still continues. Lah. Unless it starts raining very heavily. Lah. Uh. So for safety reasons, we will stop.